put on the computer. Hi, everybody. It is Tuesday, December 3rd, and this is um, what I'm calling the Finish Strong Call. I um, want to talk to you today about how to finish off the year strong with Pampered Chef um, to make, you know, to get the most out of the holiday season and to, to start the new year strong. So first, why do we want to stay engaged in the month of December? Um, number one, people need our products for baking, entertaining, and gift giving. Um, and then why else? What you got? Throw it out there. Go on. <laughs> oh, we get to bring products, right? Yeah, I was just going to say, is it about customers or is it about us? Both. Or both. It's why we want to stay engaged with our business in the month of December. Number one, to serve our customers, right? Right, and it's free for all month. Yeah, and then free for all month. And the levels are different this this month. Last month it was a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, and six thousand. This month it's seven fifty, fifteen hundred, and three thousand. Oh, um, wow. Of course, when we um, sell this month, we make money in early January. We get paid in early January, which uh, might be when many of us are getting credit card bills from the holiday season. So that's always nice timing. And then, but the, you know, the number one reason is to have momentum in the new year. If you don't want to have to start from scratch uh, building a show schedule, it's good to um, use the busyness of this season um, to gain momentum into January. And also the new consultant rewards this month. Yeah, we're um, gonna be covering the specials in a minute, like just a quick review. Okay. It's a great month to, uh, yeah. All right, so number one thing I think that is important any time of year, but especially this time of year, is be intentional. Most of us consider ourselves to be pretty busy people. Um, and the ones who, who have the most success are usually not putting in a whole lot more hours, but they are much more intentional about what they're doing, what they're spending their business time on. So schedule your pockets of time. And guys, seriously, um, I sent out a message. I, sent a t I set a timer for 10 minutes today and sent out a two sentence message. All it said was, hey, Pamper Chef announced double free for hosts in January. You want in? And I, I set a timer and I, sent, I texted that to people for 10 minutes. And I got two January bookings. And I've got someone who said her, her um, kitchen is being redone. It sh they should be done for the end of February. So she would like me to be back in touch um, in the beginning of February to schedule something. So, and that was 10 minutes. Okay, so imagine if you took 10 minutes three times a week. Imagine what you could get a comp. Book, book your pockets of time. Use a timer. Um, if you have someone in your home, a, a significant other or spouse that uh, would rather have you on the couch watching TV next to them, let them know what's in it for your business if you really work these 10 to 15 minute pockets of time. Then, of course, know the specials. This is what David was talking about. The host bonus in the month of December. Who knows what it is? Holler it out. Oh, people are muted. <laughs> I'm trying to unmute people. Well, maybe you don't want to be unmuted. I'm unmuted. All right. So, um, so the host bonus. Two sets of, oh gosh, now I've muted people. Now I listen to the phone ring. Okay, so the host bonus, 60% off, two um, entertaining sets. Usually when Pampered Chef offers 60% off of two things, there has to be a level of like six fifty dollars or more in sales, but this is just for a uh, $200 party. It's pretty awesome. The guest special, the um, free flour sugar shaker for $80, but also there's other guest specials this month. There's the three for 35 deals. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hop onto the website and, and check those out. Um, and there are gift sets that are on special this month. So these are all considered guest specials this month. And then of course there's the sign on bonus. And the sign on bonus is an extra 30 days to earn rewards, okay? But why else, besides having an extra 30 days, 
And besides the fact that someone who signs on this month can also earn free spring products, what's so great about that extra 30 days? What does that allow a new consultant to do? Fast track. <laughs> yes, it, it, um, it's not just new consultant rewards, but it's fast track rewards. They've got four months to earn that fast track bonus of 500 extra dollars. And we've had a couple people fast track recently and um, Kelly was able to do it in just two months. So to have all that extra time to be a consultant and, and think about it, they get their kit in December. They order it in December. Now they've got their products for all the uh, family gatherings, work parties, everything else that they're going to that they might bring a dish to share. Now that new consultant can go with Pamper Chef products in tow, okay? So, um, yeah, and if you are thinking about earning a free trip with the Pampered Chef, keep in mind, historically, I don't know what they're going to do next year, but for many, many, many years, it's 3,000 trip points for every qualified recruit. So you, you help people get started in December, they qualify in January, and now you've got a jump start on um, earning that trip. Okay. All right, so now I'd love for us to brainstorm. I've got a list of things here, but I'm guessing you guys um, have some ideas that I don't have. I'm kind of an old dog, and sometimes I just get set in my old ways, so I'm hoping to hear some fresh new ideas from all of you. So first, let's talk about in-home parties, okay? In-home parties, like what can we do this month? What can we offer this month as far as in-home parties go? We're going to brainstorm all different um all different um, topics, but this is the first one. So like um, in the stir today, they said to promote sips and apps. And um, I've done quite a few um, cookie swap parties in the month of December over the years. So I wanna hear what you guys are thinking of as far as when it comes to in-home parties. What are some things that you can offer this time of year? Everybody's so quiet. I made myself a promise. <laughs> you got any ideas for in-home parties, David? Uh, certainly holiday themed parties. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, swap parties, you know, things for, for Yankee swaps. Um, things that pertain immediately to right now yeah um and what everybody's experiencing right now we're we're all invited to different holiday gatherings and it's all potluck mm -hmm. so you know the things that you can use to put together a quick simple delicious appetizer for instance or mm -hmm. just you know promoting promoting the products that will get them through the holiday season and to do their christmas shop ooh, holiday shopping <laughs> Yeah, I mean, people are baking, people are giving gifts, people are entertaining. It's, you know. And people have kids. And people have kids. Um, another thing that I have found has been popular with some people uh, this time of year is I will offer workplace express parties. I happen to be free during the day, so I can go in during their lunch hour, but more often when I do this, it's, it's when work gets out. So I might get there shortly before their job gets out, set up for a um, no real demonstration, but I might make a lava cake um, before people are, arrive when I'm getting set up, make the lava cake, pop, pop it in the microwave. I might bring the blender this year if I'm doing it and make the, the peanut butter sauce in the blender. And then people just come right after work and I just have some potatoes and garlic and just, you know, they can play with the products for 10 minutes. I can um, talk a little bit about some of the power tools and then they just order, eat and order. So it's really quick. Um, so I call it an express um, workplace party. So, you know, be thinking about things that are going to save people time because that's, that's at a premium this time of year, especially. So anything you can do to make things quick and easy. So express parties um, or like David was saying, things where they can come, they can shop, they can learn a quick recipe that's going to save them time on the weekends when they're doing all their things with family and friends. And keep in mind, Although December 16th is the cutoff for Christmas delivery, it is not the end of the month, all right? Um, cookie swaps 
and workshops can be offered after the 16th. Um, something that's pretty popular if you have school age kids or know people with school age kids is doing um, a cooking with kids party between Christmas and New Year's. Make sure the parents are coming. They're not just going to drop off their kids, but it's a cooking with kids. Um, and it's, it's a great thing when people are looking for some fun activities for their kids when they, you know, it's often too cold and dark to be playing outside. Um, you could host your own jump into January party in late December if you wanted, and you could raffle off some of the host rewards. Then you just submit the party in early January. Um, and of course, you can host your own holiday show. Have people come on over, and you can have different things set up so that they can see our products. Um, you know, set up for for uh, you know to be given as gifts. You know, kind of have them prepped, almost like the home office gives us those pictures. So we can have it live. Okay, and then now let's talk a little bit about the virtual world. Okay, what what kind of themes can we offer this time of year? Obviously, you know, virtual parties that are um, focused on the holidays, gift giving, you know, if you're doing a gift giving uh, virtual party, you know, one day can all can be all about stocking stuffers and teacher gifts. Um, the next day could be about, you know, um, higher end gifts and, and different themed gifts. And maybe the last day about power tools that you want in your kitchen, gifts for yourself or something like that. Um, so holiday themed gifts. And again, in, in, uh, in thinking about people's time and honoring their time and trying to make the most of the time they spend, those 15 minute express parties. Has anybody on here done them yet? Not yet. Not yet? No. You know what? Jump in. Just do it. Host your own and invite people to attend just so you can try it out. 15 minutes, one and done. And I, um, people who are doing them are saying that if they offer some kind of incentive for people to place their order within an hour of the party or within, an, you know, um, two hours of the party, they say get a free gift or there'll be a drawing or something like that, um, that that gets more people to just place their orders quickly. Um, I was actually thinking, you know, the, the, common, the common hesitation usually this time of year is time. Mm -hmm. I don't have time. I'm too busy. Uh, Josh. Hey, hey. Glad you can make it. We got to see his face tonight. Yay! <laughs> I'm not being shy. <laughs> I was I was thinking more about maybe a party that start a virtual party that starts at eight o'clock and ends at nine o'clock. So that people can come home after work. They don't have to do anything. They just have to sit down at the computer. We can post whatever it is we want for an hour, um, and it's done. It, it, it seems to me, a, I haven't done the 15-minute party, but it, it seems more, well, I don't know. I'll let you know how it works. Well, you know what? They're all options, and different uh, things are going to appeal to different people. And just like, you know, restaurant has a whole menu of things because not everybody's going to want the same meal. Same thing. We've got sort of a menu to offer people. If, they, if, if they're interested in hosting, but the sort of standard virtual party over many days or the standard in-home party isn't going to work for them, yeah, make it an express party. Um, the 15-minute thing isn't so much a, an event on Facebook. It's a texting group. It's a group text or it's a Facebook group message. Um, but yes, doing a virtual party in one hour. Basically, you're taking all the posts that you would post over four days and you're doing it in an hour. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. A post and also, you can do that with people at the, in the workplace. You can, mm -hmm. you can say, hey, you know, do you have a laptop you can set up in the lunchroom and we can do a, a half hour, 45 minute party. There you go. Yeah. Be creative. Think about what you're hearing as far as hesitations and think about how can I make this work for this person in this, in this person's hesitation. Um, so holiday themed virtual parties, the one hour party, the 15 minute texting party. Um, you can host your own um virtual party uh you could make it a mystery host party meaning you raffle off the host rewards and of course just like i mentioned that you can do a jump into january in-home party you could certainly do a jump into january virtual party and how great is it to be able to submit sales right off the bat in early january from a a, a jump into january party held in late december i so was also thinking about what you said 
rather than this big long post about I'm doing this because of this and so I'm offering this and if you get this you'll get this and and you're right hey what do you think about doing a quick one hour after work party yes and, and not go into detail just you know virtual party or or you know, whatever I'm looking for some people who want to do express parties at their workplaces uh, yeah. are you interested in, in hearing more yeah you know it was my daughter who said if um if you have to scroll on your on your t t uh, phone on your screen then people aren't going to read it they're much less likely to read it so if you if you can see the whole message in one thing people will oh it's not long i'll read this and something that they can respond to and asking an open-ended question mm -hmm. you know, well, i guess saying do you like would you like to learn more about this is not an open-ended question but it's it's encouraging conversation not a commitment right and away. also you can say how about how about we talk so i can tell you more yeah um or or that's still a yes or no yeah um and another thing is you know i'd love to tell you more about it and just leave it at that well then they might just expect you to tell them more about it. i don't know but also remember that when you're texting or messaging there's always the option to use that little microphone so that people can hear your voice like oh my gosh i just heard this idea for a blah 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 a cooking with kids thing uh, between christmas and new year's i thought it would be so much fun and you were like the first one to come to mind if you have a minute i'd love to tell you about how those work you know something like that so that they can hear your voice and that is something i tend to use when i need to leave a message that's a little more involved and i feel like if i type it up they're never going to read it because i can say in 20 seconds what might take paragraphs to type so keep in mind that's another um, great way to reach out to people and it's just another layer because they can hear you. rather than just see the words they can hear the the enthusiasm so hey, karen if, yes. if could you say just a little bit about a cooking with kids party because um i i have maybe three open dates in december so i i, I sort of thought rather than just hope I, i'm gonna say here's what i want to do and yes. i i thought maybe a cookie swap but i also thought maybe a cooking with kids where we make cookies um but my fear is that the parents are all going to go in the other room and drink which is great um but, but not good for sales <laughs> right right yeah where do the sales come in how does that work <laughs> yeah so when i when i talk to people about a cooking with kids show that's why i might reach out to some with kids and say i thought this would be super fun do you want to talk about it and basically we're inviting people to a cooking with kids pamper chef party mm -hmm. and um the kids and parents are expected to be in the same room okay. and um you know and it, it can vary depending on the age of the kids if the kids are you know eight to eleven years of age they can do a lot more independently than if they're three four and five if they are younger the parents don't tend to leave the room at all <laughs> and i guess cooking with kids doesn't mean the kids are doing all the work you could hey karen i need you and brendan to do this yeah okay yep. Okay. And so what you can do is you can take each step of the of the cooking and put it in a bowl and everybody picks one out and then right. that kid comes up with the parent or whatever. Or you have the parents man different stations if you want to do more of a station style thing. Okay. Definitely getting the parents and sort of giving them a job, whether it's with their kids or, or a station, kind of keeps them in place. And I think as long as the host um is on board and isn't just like encouraging her guests to go into another room and chat um it works out well so it's important to prep your host and make sure your host kind of knows knows the deal when she's inviting that it's not just hey bring over your kids and we're going to cook with them in one room while you're in another so okay. yeah all right thanks um, yeah and um it's it, you could combine the two and do a cookie swap mm -hmm it's cookie swap kind of thing and you know you can have um you know depending on the, the setup of the house you could split them into teams each group is making some cookies and then um i'll swap them at the end right and so the teams would be adults and kids for sure super yeah okay um okay so we talked a little bit about in-home parties or live party ideas we talked about some virtual party ideas and guys don't forget um there were a lot of great ideas that were in the owl trot so 
you can go back to those because those were November ideas. They're pretty similar. You could tweak them slightly for this time of year. You go into our OWL group and click on units and go to the OWL trot unit. And you will see I posted 15 times, I think. So there should be lots of ideas as well. Um, and some of the things that you're hearing here, like the 15 minute express party, words to say are there that you can copy and paste. So, so definitely check that out. Some other sort of ideas that aren't party related, but are sales related, you can do a snow day sale. I threw this out there today because I'm like, oh, I need some, some sales. I threw out a, a one day special. Um, so far, I think I have $153 in sales. It's not huge, but hey, I didn't have to leave my house. And I am the host. I'm keeping the host rewards. Um, you can offer a flash sale. You can offer to be a secret Santa. For someone so you could promote this to your customer group say hey would you love to receive pamper chef for, for you know uh, Christmas or Hanukkah then just contact me tell me what's on your list and tell me who needs to purchase from you and I will get in touch with them um, you could um, I got started in pampered chef because someone hosted an all-men's show kind of sexist but anyway um, they invited I think if you're wondering how to get 19 men to a pamper chat party that's that's a good idea um, but what that consultant said at the time was um, when your order is a hundred dollars or more she'll deliver it gift wrapped and she just bought gift bags and threw all the stuff in there with a little tissue and a bow and away you go of course that's only uh, for local people but if you're doing um, you know an in-home party or or reaching out to local people that's um that's a nice bonus um i don't think there was a guy there who didn't spend 100 bucks at that party so back when the national show average is about 360 dollars, this was an almost two thousand dollar party so um keep that in mind um people with larger families if they are getting together with their families over the holidays they can take a catalog and do a quick catalog show. They can, if they like the December specials, they can submit, submit it as a December party. Or if they like the January specials, and remember, when someone hosts in January and submits before the 15th, they get the closing cut for free. So if someone takes the catalog and collects at least you know, 200 in sales, it's a party, they're getting a 60% off, a half off item, um, and they, they can get that free closing cut. So, yeah. And guys, this time of year, a $200 party, how many of you have purchased at one store or on one website at one time over $200 worth of stuff? <laughs> so, don't be surprised. Um, you know, people can spend at least $200 on That's Pampers groceries, products. Karen. Yeah. Uh, that's groceries. Yeah, no kidding, right? Too bad you can't, uh, can't get host rewards for that. Um, but yeah, so um, <laughs> I just reached out to someone who was ordering some knives and I said, you know, you're buying all these gifts. This can be a show all by itself. So you could offer to be someone's personal shopper and tell them you'll create a party out of it um, so that they can um, redeem host rewards and you can offer them some really great savings. Um, yeah, it's a good, good time of year for that, for sure. Um, any other ideas that you guys have that I haven't mentioned yet, whether it's in-home party related, virtual party, or sort of online? I, yep. was, uh, I was offline when you guys started, but did you mention the, um, the, the thing that I sent you about the virtual party? to my favorite things? Oh, I, I actually, I wrote down here, uh, social media gift guide that was in um, the, um, the stir that just came out and it said to go live with your favorite things and then I thought of you. Josh, <laughs> tell me a little bit about it. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Sure. Um, I, I had uh, my, my first recruit, Sarah, uh, reached out for some help with a, uh, she had her first virtual party coming up and I said, well, are you a part of the virtual party success group on Facebook? And she said, no. And oh, well, I can help you with that. So um, I just scrolled on it for just, a, or I typed into the search field, um, holiday show theme or something. And, and somebody had posted actually a couple of years ago that they had done an outline based on the song, these are a few of my favorite things. And so they wrote, um, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you know, um, simple black rock crocs and veggie strip makers yeah. something, something and deep covered bakers 
And so she said for each day of the party, she would post a verse and then that would kind of like be her outline for the day. And I thought, well, that's a, that's a great idea. Now I just got to find a couple hosts um, so I can try it out. Um, so anyway. And that I think would make for a great one hour uh, virtual party that, yeah. that um, David was talking about. What a great theme and yeah. And, uh, and especially Josh with what you do for a living, it's like perfect fit. People are going to think you made the whole thing up yourself instead of scoffing it up from someone else. Hi, Karen. It's Diana. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi. Okay. Hi. Um, sorry, I can't get my video to work. I, I'm not computer literate, which is why I was freaking out over the, this virtual party. And Josh, thank you so much for your help. Um, I, the information that you you directed me to is awesome. And I, I did see the... Um, favorite things uh, song there too. And I'm like, I got to do something with that. I, uh, I belong to an off-road group and we every year at Christmas would do um, one of the, the Christmas songs. Uh, Twas the night before Christmas and we'd make it all Jeep themed. So I love seeing the Pampered Jeff theme and our Christmas party is coming up and I always bring something from Pampered Jeff. Awesome. And that is who I'm having the party for is one of my members there. So I really want to make it good. So and, thank you. <laughs> and I'm glad that you brought that up because one of the other things I wanted to say was think about where you're going, you know, over the next few weeks. Um, this is a time of year. I mean, workplace usually have parties. Our choir's having a party. You know, uh, everywhere you go, so they're having some kind of holiday party. So, of course, even if it's not a potluck, don't show up without something in a pampered chef. <laughs> Everybody here has a rock crock or a baking stone or something. So, you know, bring something pampered chef um, in your pampered chef product. When you go to these things, very often you're going to see people that maybe you haven't seen since last year. Ask them, hey, what's new with you? Because if I, if, I if I just saw you and I hadn't seen you in a while and I said, hey there, Josh, what's new with you? You would probably tell me. And then what, do you, what would you say after? Oh, I would, I would talk about, yeah, this, this new venture and it's six months and hey, I'm looking for some new hosts. You know, <laughs> I'd love to help you out. <laughs> but if you were to Pamper Chef Consultant, you were just a regular person and I said to you, hey, Josh, what's new and exciting with you? If I, if I wasn't doing Pamper Chef? Yeah, if, you, if we were just friends and I hadn't seen you in a while and there was nothing new in your life, Hey, I'd what just you? Tell you I'm, I'm staying busy. <laughs> and then what would you say? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. How are you? <laughs> How are you, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time when you ask somebody what's new with them, they'll answer you. Yeah, much, you know, but hey, how about you? Oh, right. wow, I just started this new business. It's going great. You know, um, so you have the opportunity to bring it up. Um, when you meet new people, let's say you're going to, you know, a, a holiday party with a spouse and you're meeting their coworkers and you don't really know them. A lot of times the stock question that people ask is, what do you do for a living? If you have another job, don't start with that other job or don't mention that other job too much because chances are they can't really help you with that other job. So um, I used to be a nurse. So if I met somebody, what do you do for a living? Well, you know, my full-time job is I'm a nurse, but what, what I really love to do is I'm a paper chef consultant, you know, or something along those lines. Um, so make sure when someone asks you what you do, you don't just say, oh, I'm a dental hygienist. Because then it's like, oh, that's nice. But there's nothing that they can do that's going to impact your, your dental hygienist job. But if you let them know that you are a Pampered Chef consultant, and seriously, guys, you know, most of us who have been in business a while know that when we get into a group and the words Pampered Chef come out of your mouth, somebody who's in earshot stops what they're doing, swings their head around, Pampered Chef? I love Pampered Chef. And they can't wait to start um, focusing the conversation. I've got many bookings without even opening my mouth. I walk in with a baking stone and somebody says, oh, that's Pampered Chef. And then they all start talking and they're like, oh, it's because Karen's here. The subject son's Pampered Chef. And I'm like, ha, ah, let the record show. I, the words didn't come out of my mouth. Um, so yeah, so, and if you're going to any kind of Yankee swap, for the love of all spatulas, bring a pampered chef thing to swap. It doesn't have to be huge. 
Um, the blender. What's that? The blender. The blender. Yeah, bring the blender. <laughs> but bring something Pampered Chef um, related. It can be a season's best in with something else. But, you know, if, you, if you've got something, bring it. So. Um, Karen? Yes. One of the other things is, you know, when someone asks you what you do, you can mention your full-time job, but what, what really makes me happy or what really brings me joy or whatever. Um, also, I've called several consultants and their answering machines don't say anything about being a Pampered Chef consultant. Mm -hmm. Answering machines. Yeah. <laughs> Voicemail. Yeah. Um, and so please, those of you who are here and have not done it, change your greeting to, hi, it's David, your Pamper Chef consultant. I'm not around right now. Yeah. That's it. Just mention it. Mm -hmm. Your Pamper Chef consultant. It's free advertising. And yeah. um, I remember uh, shortly after I put it on my voice message, um, my husband's car was needing work and the guy called to say that the car was ready. And then he said, and oh, by the way, can you bring a catalog? My love, my, um, I need a, a meat thermometer or whatever. Um, let me just put that over there. Yeah, so. Um, ooh, that's a customer. Okay, <laughs> I gotta get back to her. All right, so. Do we need to mute you. <laughs> no, you can't mute me. All right. So I just want to say a little bit about start booking your January now if you haven't already. It's double free for hosts and the 60% off selections are awesome. And of course, um, um, people can be gathering orders over the holidays and submit them early in the month. And then of course they can, they can have their January um, parties. Um, so while you're talking to people, um, Sorry, she's leaving a message. I'm <laughs> like totally disoriented here. Um, when you're when you're in contact with people now, when they're ordering maybe on your snow sale or on some kind of holiday thing that you're doing, um, make sure to mention at the end of the conversation, oh, by the way, Pamper Chef is offering double free promos in January. You want in? Um, you want to hear more about that? Uh, things like that. So, um, I'm, I'm doing my snow sale and I, I talked to everybody about it. And when I did, I did, um, you know, the cyber Monday and I was thanking the people who ordered, I, I made sure to mention about the, the, um, January specials to see if they wanted in on that. Um, and guys, they don't offer double free very often. Once, sometimes twice a year, never twice in the same season. So if it's in January, it's not going to be in February or March or April. Um, so it's the perfect time to look back. Look back every host you've ever had. See if they're ready for another party. Hosts already know how cool the host rewards are. So they can really wrap their brain around double free pretty quickly. Um, anybody who scheduled a party, but for whatever reason, it didn't, it didn't hold. Something happened in their life. Um, now's a great time to reach out to those people. Hey, I know you wanted a party way back in October and it just didn't work out. Pampered Chef just announced double free for hosts in January. What do you think? Um, or if you're talking to someone about having a party in, the, in, the, in this month and they say, oh, I can't, you'll have to call me after the holidays. Don't call them after the holidays because then they might book February if you're lucky. What I say is, oh, I could call you after the holidays. However, I'll be probably booking February, March by then. Uh, Pampered Chef just announced double free for hosts in January. And then I'll say something like, do you want me to let you know some, um, my open dates at the off chance that one of them might jump out and work really well for you? Okay, because a lot of times people say, I, I can't pick a date right now. So I just say, ah, how about if I just throw out my open dates, you know, maybe the planets align and one of them will work for you. I also ask um, what date, you know, in January, you know, just tell me what day of the week would work best for you mm -hmm. and let me see if I have that available. Yeah. Um, and that narrows it down because there's only four of that day in the week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Rather than um, sometime in January. And, you know, a lot of times, um, if it's, a, you know, if it's near New Year's, they, they don't want it right near New Year's. So really, there's only three of them. So it does create a certain amount of um, urgency. Yeah. Um, 
Can I just throw something in out of the blue? Of course. Uh, when you're out holiday shopping, when you're at stores, when people give you really good service, have your door prize slips handy, have the booking pam the um recruiting pamphlet ready have um the new re the new consultant rewards ready um these people's jobs are going to end on december 26th oh yeah you're right a lot of them will and they're going to need they're going to need to pay for everything they spent for the holidays which is usually what they made at these stores and also <laughs> pardon me as you're talking to people if you can work pamper chef into just just whatever's going on i i went to pick up i i was having glasses made at lens crafters and i was actually going to i think we had a conference on friday or something i i was going somewhere and i said do you think my glasses will be ready friday i need them for business and she said, what is it you do for work? <laughs> and I booked a party. Yeah, yeah. So if you can, if you can sort of, just sort of manage to weave somehow without being totally obvious, you'd be surprised how receptive people are because you haven't come right out and said, hey, I'm a Pampered Chef consultant. And I'm not great at sort of weaving it in, but if someone gives really good customer service after we're done, I say thank you very much. And then I say, and by the way, I don't know if you're looking for an additional source of income, but um, I'm a consultant and a recruiter for a company called The Pampered Chef. Have you ever heard of it? And, and I say so, um, and it, it's very flexible, and I, I'm always looking for people like you who give really good customer service, because those are the people who tend to do really well. Um, I'd love to send you some information. If you want, I can either text or email it to you. I they, carry it with that's me. That's they can say no. Even when they say no, they usually say, oh, but thank you so much. I mean, I've complimented them, sincerely. And so, um you know and some people have said yeah send me some information rarely they do they sign right away but sometimes they book sometimes they keep my information for a while and all of a sudden a year later i hear out of the blue and i don't even remember where i met them and then they tell me and i'm like oh yeah so you never know it seeds planted um so and something else that you could do um as as you're out and about is take survey slips and do a holiday raffle so you can tell people hey to celebrate the holidays pamper chef i'm doing a raffle and it's free to enter um would you like to enter oh okay i'll enter i love pamper chef and you hand them a survey slip if you if you want you can make up your own or you just use the ones that that came in your kit and that is the ticket into the drawing and they fill it all out. And if they don't answer the questions, what I usually say to people is, um, please take a minute to fin fill out the questions. If you um, only uh, want me to contact you if you win, just check off no. <laughs> but otherwise, if you want information about any of the services that I offer, I'm happy to send that to you either <coughs> email. So they check off you know, what they're interested in. And you can take this with you anywhere you can go you know if you're out christmas shopping or holiday shopping you can talk to the people at the stores if you're going to um you know something at your kid's school you can have them with you and just you know pop them out um i don't know if people ever drive into a you know go to a bank anymore i do all my uh, deposits online now and electronic transfers but um i've gotten some great business from the banks you bring it in have the teller fill it, uh, tellers fill it out while they're doing the deposit um, so anywhere you're going, you can just kind of take them with you for a week. Um, if at your primary job, if you work in a large place, um, you know, it's hard to really talk to every single person, but you know, you can kind of get the word out about this drawing and, and people can, um, can fill that out. And again, I only follow up with the people who check off yes or maybe if they check off, no, I, I don't follow up except to say, thanks for filling out the form. Um, you know, here's a nice recipe. Um, but 
that if you have enough people fill them out, you will get enough maybes and yeses. And it's a great way to get out of your family and friends circle because you can get into the acquaintances circle, which is when you think of it like, you know, a bullseye, here you are in the center and then the next ring is family and friends. It's the smallest circle. Uh, but then after that is acquaintances. It's a much bigger circle. And then your acquaintances have friends and family and coworkers. And it br brings us to the great beyond. And it, it, you know, so those circles get larger and larger. So if you really want 2020 to be a spectacular year, then in December, be very intentional about connecting with your acquaintances. And it kind of lends itself to it this time of year because we tend to see more people um, at all the, the, the parties that people have. So if you're very mindful of that, we don't need nearly everybody to say yes or, or want information. Um, but boy, if we get two or three who are acquaintances and they have parties and they invite all of their friends, all of a sudden it's a whole new world. Yeah. So um, if you've got, um, you know, some big goals for this month or next month, and they don't even have to be big goals. If you have goals that are important to you, take a minute. I'd like for you all to message your director and just say, I was on the call or I listened to the recording. My goal for December is maybe you just want to go for the $750 level. Maybe you're like, no, I'm going bigger, go home. I'm going for 3000 whatever your goal is for December. And um, what, um, what idea or ideas you are taking away from this call to run with. Okay, is, there it are just sales goal? is it just sales goals or could it be recruiting it goals? Be sales also? And recruiting goals. Yep. Um, so talk about, you know, take the ideas that you heard here tonight and take the one or two that you that, that just speak to you the most that you're going to run with. And someone just messaged me that they're doing a vendor event for the first time. Um, if you go into, I don't know whether it's in Avengers or Owl, but if you do a look up and say fair call, you should find a recording that kind of tells about um, strategies for fair. And we do have banners and pamper chef tablecloths and things like that that are available. And I would definitely um, uh, encourage you to set up a 10 to 15 minute call specifically um, about the vendor event after you've listened to the fair call um, because there are different options. And so um, we can talk about that, you know, based on what you hear, we can talk about that. But vendor events are a fantastic way um, to spread the word about your business and to get not just into the acquaintance circle, but get into the, the great beyond circle. So good for you. Very exciting. All right. Um, anything else that people have heard that they're thinking about trying or an idea they had that they want to mention or clarify? Okay, then. All right. Well, have a great evening. I will upload this and post it at some point. So Josh, I know you'll miss the beginning. If you want to listen to the first 10 minutes, you can. Um, and I will post it under the announcement for the call where I posted the, um, the, the Zoom link right under that in the comments, I will post the replay. Okay. Thank can you. you Karen. All right. Have a great night. Thanks, Karen. Okay. Good night.